Hey there YouTubers. So you may have noticed Intel has released the i3-9350KF. Um, if somebody who is a previous owner of the i3-8350K, um, I'm going to give you a little insight on that. And I am a current owner of the i5-9400F. So in this video, we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff and uh, we're going to be all over the place probably, but uh, hopefully by the end of it, you will uh, have a good idea of which of these CPUs you should select. If you're watching this, uh, other alternatives would be uh, sticking with 8th gen and um, going with the i5-8400, the i5-8500. Uh, i5-8600 or the i3-8350K. Uh, those would be other alternatives. Uh, price jumps up significantly to go to uh, the i5-8600K. So we'll just leave it at uh, the ones that I mentioned as somewhat uh, relative comparison. Um, all right. Now, so let's talk price here. Um, if you were to look at this, this has been out for a few months now. At least I, I feel like I've owned mine for at least a few months. Uh, I paid $200 for it, so to see it down to $159, that's a hell of a deal. I actually have a couple of i5-8400s, um, and if I could go on eBay and sell those for $180, um, and minus my fees, I would buy a couple more of those to replace them. So, uh, that said, here is the i3-9350KF. And it is uh, right off the bat $212, which is uh, not the best deal in the world for that processor. Um, the 8350K is uh, usually around $169.99. Uh, if you're a Prime member, you can usually get it at Amazon, Walmart. Uh, the regular price is one six nine nine nine, so that is um, you know much better deal from that aspect. Um, so the both these processors do not have integrated graphics, so um, that is another thing to consider right there, folks. Um, if you think that you're going to put this in a computer um, and get it to to light up right away. It's not going to happen unless you have a graphics card. So uh, keep that in mind. So um, how these are not super cheap in comparison to the uh, 8th gen uh, that's out there, I do not know. At least this is a better deal than the 8400 uh, by about $34, $30 to $40 now, I believe. All right. So... Things you're going to need to get, uh, let's just talk getting a night gen rolling, all right? Um, right off the bat, if you have absolutely no experience with computers, um, get yourself a Z390 motherboard, all right? Um, don't even look at these alternatives that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up to you. Z390 are boards that are night gen compatible, and uh, hopefully... This guy will work with them. This guy is questionable because it's brand new, but uh, it uh, should work. Um, don't quote me on that, though, because I um, have not tested it. All right, so your next alternatives are motherboards like this. This is a Gigabyte ARS Z370. Uh, MSI Z370 motherboard. Gigabyte H310M. And then uh, something like the B360 MSI motherboard. All right, so why do I say that? Most of, if not all, of the 300 series motherboards can be upgraded from 8th gen to 9th gen capable. So something to check out on my page. I have quite a few motherboards where I show you how to update the BIOS. Uh, there's three shown here, as a matter of fact. So that's something you're going to have to do because um, 
when you get a ninth gen chip and you put it in one of those 300 series motherboards if it's not a z390 you are not going to be happy because you're not going to have anything uh pop up on the screen for you all right so now to do a bios update you've got to have an 8th gen chip so this is for the folks that uh already have 8th gen chips um before you move on to the 9th gen, make sure you go and update the BIOS. It's pretty simple to do. However, it can cause uh, catastrophic issues for you if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and you definitely do not want to restart your computer in the middle of a BIOS update. So, those are uh, things to look out for. Now, between these twos, there are added costs. Okay, So, the motherboards, will say, are pretty much... Uh, about the same. However, uh, if you want to maximize your performance on this CPU, you need something that says either Z370 or Z390. These are um, capable of being overclocked. So this guy here, you do not need that kind of motherboard because you can't overclock it. Um, so that is uh, that's something to watch out for. That'll save you a little money. So Based on motherboards, you can get away with a cheaper motherboard here. Maximize your performance here. It's going to cost you more money. All right. Other things to factor in. CPU coolers. Okay. Um, this guy comes with a stock cheap uh, Intel fan. So no additional cost for you. This guy is not going to come with a uh, CPU fan most likely. At least the 8350K didn't. And uh, I'm going to order one of these so we can uh, test it out here. But uh, that said, so here's some other CPU coolers that we have that are that are cheap. Um, and then this guy. And then we've, uh, I may have flashed that one twice, Cooler Master, which was actually a decent quality one from the results I have. Now, this is the only one. This is the only one that I have that I feel confident overclocking for uh, long periods of time. So um, this was pretty expensive. So right off the bat, your uh, additional costs that this is going to be could cost you at least another $160. So that said, add 160 to this, you could get an i7-8700 that will outperform the processor on the left. Um, so that does not make the i3 a very good uh, price, if you ask me. All right, so let's talk some other things. Um, the other reason we brought up the CPU coolers, besides the overclocking aspect, this guy is 65 watts TDP. That's 91 watts. Um, you're going to need more cooling for that because it's, it's hotter. Um, something else to figure out, plus you're going to use more electricity. Now, other things to watch out for, you know, some of these idiots out there that are reviewing this stuff that, you know, uh, don't really know what the hell they're talking about. Um, be careful about the articles you read. Some of these people like uh, CPU World are saying this processor has integrated graphics. If it does, it shut off and you're not ever going to be able to use it. So uh, keep that into account. Um, now... That's a higher, uh, running at a higher frequency. And uh, this will give you better performance, most likely, for most tasks. However, when you need multi core performance, you're going to want to go to the right. So, most of the folks that check out my channel are doing gaming stuff. And, uh, you know, good chance you may be happier with this. Number of threads, you got six threads here, or six cores, sorry. Four cores here, 